now. We have a dark horse that came in. I see what you did there. <laughs> I see. I see what you did there. Right as Black History Month was ending and Women's History Month was coming. I said, wait. <laughs> and this independent wait. candidate, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., wanted to let us know he is, in fact, standing on business. I'm Robert F. Kennedy Jr. You don't have to believe the lies. You don't have to take sides. You don't have to believe the lies, Miracle. Hold on, hold on. President of the United States. No. I'll be standing on business. Absolutely. Community server. So, so <laughs> apparently the producer drummer boy, this is Atlanta folks, right? This is, no <laughs> you know what? I specifically remember asking some people yes. of this light skin community. And, and this is exactly why we didn't do it. To be like, hey, because it's gonna turn we out like need this shit. to set the standard and start <laughs> using music to encourage oh, you know. voter engagement and nobody wanted to do it. Now look what we got. Look, MAGA look. rappers it's, and standing on business. It's funny because I hope you're proud. It's funny because I'm wondering, I'm looking at the, like, the graphic for the song standing on business, not business. 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 And um, I'm like, why are all these briefcases around? Oh, the business. Business, right, so they have a bunch of briefcases. The money, a bunch of briefcases. The money, man. Because <laughs> business means you carry a briefcase, apparently. Um, it's corporate. So, drummer boy, as I guess a big fan of Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Is he though, or did he get a big check? <laughs> yeah, I, hey, something happened. That's the question. You know what I'm saying, green but he green. he recruited Bootsy, badass Turk. From um, Hot Boys. Hot Boys. Yeah, Boosie, Tuck. Jazzy right. Faye. Right. Who I haven't seen him in a minute. You know what I'm saying? And um, the South. Angela Stanton King is a woman who Trump pardoned that I guess she, and she, I guess, does a lot of QAnon, conspiracy theory stuff. And mm. so I guess she's jumping from Trump to uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s. Um, but um, Turk said, until we change, we will never see change. We have to do what's uncomfortable to be comfortable. I guess that was like a little veil shot at Obama that we can't, we'll never see change because we have. <laughs> I, I took that as like what Allah said in the Quran, that he's not going to change the condition of a people till they change the thing. Miracle's the face. Uh, Angela Stan King added, we're standing on business for our community, completely done with Republicans and Democrats. People over party. Miracle. As our Southern representative. <laughs> You know what? PPP money dried up. People got to make their bills some type of way. And this is how they go. listen. Get your coin. Get your paper. Go on tour. Get do a club run. You know, community service. I would have shout out to those folks. Um, <laughs> it is what it is. This is twenty twenty four. I will say, if people had policies that were life affirming, yes, and allow them to engage their community substance you know, substantial ways, we would not be here. Yes. But because we did not have a competitive primary on both parties, we are here and all of the people with opinions and access to money are going to be setting on business for 2024. Does Cornell West have to call Nas and and Jay-Z and does he have to do like an East Coast like response to standing on business? That would be crazy. Does he have to do? I mean, that would be hilarious. (laughs) I mean, but if we're going to keep it tall, like Trump got the best rappers rocking with him. So his project would be. Does he? I mean, he got Ye, Wayne, Kodak. Saeed? No. (laughs) No. I have a take. Yes. And this is like a stream of consciousness as it's happening in real time, right? <laughs> so I do think, again, um, and I'll talk about when we go to our next segment, yes. that hip-hop really does have a place in political spaces yes, and the political sphere, sphere because it really is on-the-ground reporting. It really is an immediate yeah. capture yeah. of what people are going through in people's the lives. The CNN of the ghetto is what kind of Chuck D coined mm-hmm. it. And I still think that's correct. Yes. The problem is now 
and somebody had talked about this is some the the product now has the pin and yeah. the difference is because the product can now sell itself right it can make its story either the cnn or the dream right. instead of always reflecting the reality right and i do think that there is so much happening in our world yep. that rappers and hip hop and artists should really be more engaged but right now they're just trying to get to the bag. Yeah. And that that has become the issue. But I do think for people who are coming up, they're still talking about not having enough food, not having enough money, the cost of living, yeah. crime and violence. And so I still do you know, stories of opening up businesses and retiring and traveling. So I do think that there is a place for folks in this industry. I just the yeah. problem is sometimes it doesn't seem as authentic as it could be. And really? I mean, these folks really? standing next to Robert F. Kennedy I don't, I don't think that's with really a bunch a of briefcases. As opposed to like just you just stating facts. But like I, B- I agree. Bootsy and Robert F. Kennedy doesn't seem authentic to you. But like me and Jasiri have both made a career off making re- political records. Yes. And but I think this like for me personally, kinda of like what you're saying, it's like seeing these men just actually rap an endorsement. It, it just it just doesn't it always comes over contrived. But and also it's yes. not it, and it's just not dope. Like it doesn't yes. ever come over like this is a dope record. And it is like I to me, I look at somebody like Boosie who has a, a really large platform and it really isn't I mean, I don't it, it, unless you're talking about fuck the police Bootsy, that was like years ago. Yeah, now you know he's doing now he's doing, you know, BET uncut on his IG live. Exactly. So it's like I don't really if, if Bootsy was consistently coming with this type of commentary about changing the condition of our community, that's one thing, but he's not. So it does look like that, you know, Robert F. Kennedy and them has some, has some money, or maybe, you know, he's a Kennedy. He probably got some bread. They gave these people a bag for a verse, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Similar to, like, you know, when Kodak did a, a song with 6 9 right? I wonder he got a million dollars. He what? did the song, and he's like, yo, this is a million dollars. I'm going to do this song. That's what I do. I did a verse. I got my money. I wonder what that studio session was like. Like, were they all in there together? Or did this track just get emailed <laughs> with, to people? With Robert F. Kennedy. <laughs> yeah, like Robert F. Kennedy was Smoking the producer blunts. on this track. <laughs> well, you know. Uh, He's like, you know, my family uh, did bootleg. You know, Bootsy. Uh, you know, I, I've been standing on business for a very long time. Man. 